Um, I'd like to tell my story briefly. I'll try to be as short as I can. Um, 1999, I took my youngest, or my only son at that point in time, to the Children's Aid because there were some behavioral issues. And I was concerned that things might get out of hand before he got older. So I went to the society asking them for help and assistance, in which I continuously had him on a regular basis seeing a counselor at the Family, Youth and Child Services, to which it kept getting put to another person to work with my son, or there wasn't anybody available. In 2005, September 2005, my mother and I were in the CAS office in Muskoka and signed paperwork because I had said I didn't know what I was going to do or how I was going to handle my oldest son at, um, with regards to his behaviors in school. It was more in the school um, atmosphere or at day camps that there, there was issues. Um, we signed paperwork stating that we wanted my son to be put into a treatment center in North Bay that was going to be able to help him with his struggles. In October of 2005, my oldest son and I took a parental or psychological assessment to which stated that my child was hard for me to deal with. There were issues with my oldest son that he had ADHD and the requisition that was brought before the Children's Aid Society by the psychologist was that they were in fact to place him into a in in uh, in-house treatment center which as I said I had already stated and signed for a month previous to this um, being that they said that there was a time frame up to three months uh, for a bed to become available I put my son to a therapeutic foster home which was supposed to last usually three to six months in November of 2005 my son went to a therapeutic home where he would stay there from Sunday night until Thursday night depending on um, the schooling because he was in a behavioral class and they had every second Friday off so whenever school was done for him Thursday night or Friday night I would be picking him up and he would come home every weekend up until June because they didn't want the transition of him going to new school they had extended him to stay in the therapeutic foster home in order to keep everything on an even keel for him and throw instead of throwing him off whack June, my son called me up before coming home the weekend before Father's Day, speaking to me in regards to his dad, who had nothing to do with him for over two and a half years, who for the most part wasn't any part of his life, um, turning his head away from him, rejecting him, not uh, calling, nothing, had asked me whether or not he could call his dad because he found his phone number. My response to my son was that I thought that he should think about it a lot more. Um, I didn't want my son to be rejected once again and I thought that this was something that he needed to take into consideration. And his response to me was, Mom, if you don't think about it, I will never forgive you. But when you see my counselor on Thursday, which this was a Tuesday, would you discuss it with my counselor? And I said I would do that. The Thursday I went to go see the counselor, I got held into the room and brought in with the worker and was told my son no longer wanted to reside with me that he had said the Monday he did not want to come home that he wasn't looking forward to it. He hated it at home. According to them, my son would come home on his weekend visits, I would lock him up in his room, and he would never be able to come out. And uh, all I did was scream and yell at him. For seven months, and fighting with the court systems, constantly having to do affidavits two, three times a month, and repeating court two, three times a month, I was not able to see my son, contact my son, write letters to my son. The worker had advised me that my son did not want anything to do with me, pretty much didn't want me to exist. Finally one day, uh, after dealing with some court issues and that, I was allowed to go to my son's school to find out what was going on and how he was. I saw my son for the first time in seven months and it was an emotional breakdown. After that, there was no issue with regards to my son wanting to spend time with me or be with me when he wanted to, so we did our activities as we usually did. My son continued to reside with his dad and so far as I'm concerned the society never did check up on the way things were going in regards to the father and son relationship and the situation that my son was put in for at one point in time they were living homeless for two months going from home to home.